Now this video I'm making because, I mean, it's common sense that one lone baby mouse does not just wander into someone's kitchen. So I was standing not too far away from here a minute ago, and right there under my stove to the right of that mouse trap, you, I saw the father pack rat mouse come out from under the stove, stick his head out about, well, his body about halfway. This guy is now huge. Huge. And I don't want him in the house at all. I didn't want him in the house anyway, but now I really don't want him in the house. Um, gray and about two and a half inches wide and fat and maybe five and a half inches long. Huge. So, I went and got two traps. I've already had another trap in the corner to the right of the oven, um, but they've been ignoring it. Now, these are the same three mice, not, not the little baby. These are the two parent mice that I keep releasing, and they keep finding their way back here. Because I scared him, he took off, and two seconds later, Jumper's mother sticks her head out from under the oven. She's also much bigger, but with the marking and um, just, I just knew it was the two of them again. Um, which means this baby that I have been feeding is probably the oldest of more babies. So I'm making this video um, because my intent with this baby mouse has been to rehabilitate it and, and be able to release it. And if the parents are still in the house somehow and going to have more litters, then um, I'm, I'm like spinning my wheels. So this becomes, um, really what I'm trying to tell you is um, there's never one mouse which is what I had known, and I've been waiting for this to happen, and it did happen. So now I've got four traps in the kitchen here, but uh, the gray mouse, I don't even know if it'll fit in the trap. It's bigger than this trap. It, it, it's absolutely bigger than that trap. Um, I have the, the larger trap out. I it, This is how big it is. It's as big as a large chipmunk, a large chipmunk. Um, I have a chipmunk trap, and I may set that up in the kitchen. But I don't like that one because it's a have a heart, and it's made of metal, and I'm always afraid the door is going to um, malfunction. But I don't think the gray mouse would even fit in the trap. So I uh, not only am going through what I'm going through with feeding this one, I can expect other young mice. So now we get out a 10-gallon tank, and they all are going to go into a tank until I can release them.